Nasa Malaysia ako noon, noong pumutok yung balita, lumabas na yung Honda ADV 150 sa Indonesia. Kagulo ang lahat noon. At sa totoo lang, hindi ko talaga alam kung kailan ang labas ng ADV 150 sa Pinas sa mga panahon na yon. Hindi ko pa alam. Pati yung mga kapwa natin mga international media, wala rin silang balita kung kailan lalabas yung Honda ADV sa kanilang mga bansa. Pero yun nga, ilang buwan ang lumipas at nailaunch na rin yung motor sa atin. Bakit nga ba kaabang-abang itong motor na ito? Suriin natin. Ang tawag ko sa motor na ito ay isang MMM or Mini Mi Motor. Kung baga, kung may CBR 1000R, meron din CBR 150R. Pero marami ng ganun eh at sanay na tayo sa ganun. Ito nakakatuwa kasi gumawa sila ng Mini Mi ng XADV 750. So, napaka-fresh ng dating nito sa automatic small displacement segment. One fifty cc single overhead cam. It would have been nice if it was double overhead cam. That's just me. It's liquid cooled, fuel injected with twin shocks and telescopic forks. For the wheels, we are at thirteen inches at the rear and fourteen at the front. It's got ABS with power at fourteen point seven HP. Sagad top speed with a limiter. It can reach around a hundred twenty kph. Sa daan, pag may rider na, I hit 118 kph. So, malapit na rin siya sa sagad niya. I weigh 170 pounds at 6 feet. The smaller and lighter you are, you will reach your top end faster. Handling of the Honda ADV is neither sporty nor will it be as agile as compared to a Honda Beat or Click. But I do feel more aggressive in the corners with this compared to the PCX. At kung gusto ko pa talaga ng tulakan yung makanto, magpapalit na ako ng shocks at gulong. Which got me thinking. Despite its sporty, adventurous looks, the suspension and handling is geared more for touring rather than tumbling about in the rough. Unlike its older sibling, the X ADV 750. Yun I got to try for 10 days in Malaysia. Baragan yun, and I could tell then how the X ADV 750 can really handle some rough roads. Eto the ADV 150, it's like a PCX pero mas bad boy, mas brusco, mas bastos. The PCX naman is well mannered and gentleman like, but I'm just talking looks here, not engine wise. Let's talk about the lines of the ADV 150. Obviously, this is a mini me version of the X ADV 750. This is not just a simple scaled down version. Hindi lang siya basta parang yung pinaliitan lang. There are obvious differences. Like with the X ADV, when you look at it, since yung line dito, dere direct sa swing arm, there's this mahaba look. With the X ADV, right? Dito, unlike the X ADV, as you can see, and just like the smaller displacement scooters of Honda, ibang mas lagpas pa pero ito nakalign siya all the way down here sa axle ng wheel, right? It's aligned. So meron siyang kung hindi man nakalabas yung gulong like the X ADV, ito naman parang ito yung lumabas dito. Another obvious difference, hindi mo makita yung linya na direct dito don sa swing arm, not like the X ADV. So that's an obvious difference. But for the face, it's it's there and genuine. One of the reasons why it was called an X ADV, if you look again at the picture here of the bigger version, pack, pack, right? Look at that giant there. You see the X? Parang ganon yung dating nya with this version here. Meron din siya dito, which I'm wondering why they didn't call this an X ADV 150. But that's just me. I like looking at cues and lines, right? Let's do it again. X. Now another thing about the lines of the ADV, one of the reasons I feel also why it looks nice and beefy and big with these angular lines, it's how they taper things off. Like for example here, you'll only see this part here when you're in this part of the bike, not when you're on the side like so. Di siya ganon ka prominent, di ba? It looks like it's just one huge bulky thing. But of course, when you go now on this side, you'll realize that the reason why that is so is to accommodate. Your legs, but the thing is, when you go up here, the lines spread out like that. That's what makes it nice and big. So it looks like a nice wine glass, very accepting, very inviting. It's hua, and when you look at it from the front, it it looks nice and big and beefy. In design school, by the way, sa hindi na kalam ng industrial design ako, there's such a thing as a parang infinite diminishing perspective. 
or something like that. So you have some certain lines that will just go way out. So it's spreading the size. As opposed to diretso lang siyang ganon. Pak, pak, pak. Ito yun yun. Boom. Boom. So we got Showa Shocks over there. I would say tono niya is, it's not as stiff as some other scoots that I have experienced. It's a bit spongy, pero hindi siya spongy na CRF 150 level. If you think about it, para siyang alanganin na off-road capable. Pwede, but definitely it's more on-road. I was tempted to really slug it out in some light trails, pero parang nahihinayan ko, ay ayoko magasgas yung, yung ilalim, di ba? I mean, pag ganito yung motor mo, Diba? Parang ayo ko siya off road eh. Although, if you take a look at the tires, dual sport siya. Even though, kaganyan yan, I wouldn't. Again, kung mag off road ako, ode, magsi CRF 150 na ako, diba? So, let's open up the gas tank. It's uh, really easy. Put it in place, press the fuel, and that thing just pops up, right? So, this is not as solid as I would want it to be. I mean, it's moving about. Pero when it's in place naman, even though you can move it like that, and parang feeling mo may kalampag, hindi naman siya kumakalampag dahil meron siyang spring sa loob and it's pushing it upwards. See? Gas tank. Tada! And now, over on this side, may compartment dito. You just gotta push it and it's gonna open. Now, how do you deal with this? Hindi siya pwede yung tipong gaganon mo lang siya. It's not gonna close. Pwede mo lakasan and then it's gonna work. But you don't wanna do that all the time. Parang kang galit parate, di ba? Oh, kailangan ko na sila yung compartment. Ah! Ah! Wag. What you gotta do is, if you wanna close it, just push again. Gently. See? Nice. What I also notice about this, the hinges, there's kinda some play going on here. And it's similar to the fuel, as I pointed out. So these two things have a moving thing going on. Is it an issue though? Not really. Pag umaandar ka, syempre, siguro di mo sarado ito kung tigal. Gagalagalo siya ganyan. Ito rin. Just push it. This one you gotta push. So what can you put here? You can put your phone in here. At meron din siyang charging port. Here's the charging port. Spring loaded din siya. Yeah, that's the whole compartment there. For reference, let me try to put my chinelas. See? Just for reference. So let's take a look what's under the seat. Isn't that nice, huh? With spring loaded, you got some spring action going on over here. Pretty spacious. Let's see if a full face helmet will fit. No. Let's try. We can't put it the other way around because it's a umbok. Let's try it this way then. Nope. Let's try half face. Half face is good. So you can put a half face here, a whole bunch of stuff here too. Mga rain jacket ninyo or whatever. For reference, apart from the helmet. So, that's my leg. Ah, uh, check out the gauge. So this gauge has two buttons, here and here. So going through these switches, starting off with uh, your average fuel consumption with trip A, hit it again, that's your battery performance. Hit it again, that's your outside temperature right now. So 36 ngayon, napaka init. Average fuel consumption with trip B. We can reset it by pressing this long enough and boom so it's nice and modern and it's not that big it's compact yet maximized naman yung layout niya for the whole space of the gauge so and dami information eh diba? you can see a lot going on here which is great now as for the windscreen i'm digging this correct me if i'm wrong i think in this segment ito pa lang yung meron tayong adjustable so all you gotta do is to pull these out and you can put it down like so if you want to put it up there you go. So what I like about this, it's as high as my chest. Hindi siya kasing laki ng, let's say, you know, ganyang mga windscreen na alanganin. I like this because it's really deflecting wind over your head. But you know what? Honestly, I, I'm not a big fan of windscreens. Kung pwede kong tanggalin, tatanggalin ko. Kaya natutuwa ako na pwede mo tong ibaba. Like so. Done. LED lights at the rear. LED at the front, of course. That's your bright right there. Panels are snapped into place. It's not moving about. Nice and solid. So taking a look at our nice seat over here, I would say this is pretty good primo quality. Forget that. Yung mancha na yan galingan sa maong ko. 
I don't know what happened there. Sabon lang katapat niyan. Now, stitching is in good shape. I don't see any gilid-gilid na weird na stitching. Umaayos naman siya. I like how it's two-tone. Some two-tone seats, they don't look good. But this one looks nice. Yung fabric na ginamit dito, hindi pipitsugin. Hindi siya tinipid. Maayos siya. Now, for my legs, I am six feet tall. I wanted this little part to be further back kasi mahaba yung legs ko ng konti. So I felt I was a bit more on the forward side. So if you're shorter or you have shorter legs than me, then then siguro sakto lang but naalala ko kasi experience ko with the XADV 750 eh syempre iba naman yan mas mahaba yan for taller people I guess but this one is also okay lang if I were gonna modify the seat at least for me I would shave this part atras ng konti and just stretch the fabric back again. But it's just a minor thing. Nothing serious on my end. Now, as we look at the switches and the grips and the bar ends here, all of this I dig. This does not feel cheap. This does not feel cheap. The plastics here are also very good quality. Hindi siya yung mga fall short switches na parang nipis na marupok na plastic. Okay siya. Same story here as well. Good quality with the switches. Handlebar is also very good quality sarap hawakan actually sarap hipuin ang handlebar mm. if there's anything that I would say is not at par with the rest of this stuff over here side view mirror okay rin naman siya but I would have preferred meron kasi mas thicker type dito eh talagang solid yung pakiramdam this is I would say regular I mean compared to this kasi parang up the game lahat dito biglang dito was regular but you know again, we're just nitpicking plastic wise din ito for me this is not up to par with everything else this is your regular side view mirror so yeah kung meron akong papalitan dito would probably be the mirrors I would prefer nice robust sporty round ones as opposed to this shape so another safety feature for the Honda meron silang tinatawag natin ESS or emergency stop signal so pag nag emergency brake up well it's gonna come from the ABS out in front kung bigla kang nag brake Ng, alam mo yung bah, nag-break ka talaga ng pabilis. It's gonna send a signal to the back and you're gonna get uh, flashing lights at the rear. So it's a visual cue. So yung tao sa likod mo, ah, bigla siya nag-break. So that's called ESS. So right now, we're gonna talk about the key. We got three buttons over here. The first one is pag marami na kayong ADV sa parking lot at nalilito ka na, alin yung sayo? Well, press this one. And that's your bike right there. So our next button is the second one right now and that is basically the alarm. You press it once, you're gonna hear a beep and another one and that means your alarm is now engaged. You're going to see a red light coming out there blinking, see that? There. So in case meron mag tangkang magnakaw ng beloved, the ADV mo, your alarm is now engaged. Like so. Let's turn it off. And the third button right now is basically what connects this key to that so you can turn the bike on. So let's press it. It's blinking red, which means it's not connected to the starter. Even if you try to turn it, it won't even turn. So you got to press it long so that thing turns green. Check. Okay. Again. So now you can turn this thing on and now you can twist it. Everything turns blue. There you go. And another way to tell also, you'll see that yellow light over there with the same symbol as this. That means you are connected, baby. If that thing's not there, then you tama andar. Sa syudad, bigyan mo yung sarili mo ng konting ride time to get used to its size. Pero makakasuot naman siya pag masama na talaga yung traffic. Di nga lang kasing galing ng Honda Click tsaka Beat. Pero wala eh. Mas pogi ito eh. Kaya okay lang sa akin ng mas konting dagdag na effort pag masikip na yung daan. Magandang umaga, S-Lex! Let's see how the ADV fares rush hour. Sample na lang tayo sa masikip. Ito na po ang matinding traffic. Just passed. Ayala Avenue and sa Gabe So yung upo natin, the seat height, medyo mas matangka tayo sa karamihan. So sa driver ng Hyundai Tarex, halos kasing tangkad ko siya. What I also like about this ADV is it's very generous turning radius. Tsaka kaya parang ang gaang ng dating niya, the handlebars are nice and wide. So maganda yung leverage niya. Hindi mo kailangan pwersan masyado. Ang ganda yung leverage. Ride safe! Just like that. That's what I mean. Gasoline consumption, I got a decent 34.158 kpl. And this is in wild wall mode and really bad traffic. Di ako nagtipid mode at all. For the brakes, let's try the rear. Now mind you, for the rear brakes, you have to really 
squeeze it or you need to get some fish shell action otherwise like a hump a stop lock you use in the rear wala naman lock pero kung pipigay natin so that's the rear situation now the front slowly first more aggressive ABS is working fine bit more speed now Okay, ABS is working great. I use. Now let's go to a slippier situation. So this area is a bit more painted. Let's try some rear. Yep. Let's try the front in this situation. I can actually hear a so you can hear the ABS kicking in, not just the dug 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 dug, but it's like a man. Get out to me by ABS. Yeah, you hear that? That's the ABS kicking in too. So yeah, ABS working. Now again, as usual, it's gotta be both. That's the best way to use these brakes, man. Both. Ah, great stopping power. Meron mga bagay-bagay na hindi natin makukuha kesyo mahirap o mayaman. May mayaman na malungkot, may mahirap na masaya, may mga nasa gitna naman na naghahanap ng kanilang kaligayahan din. Ang Honda ADV 150 ay isang tikim at subo na galing sa X ADV 750 na hindi lahat maaapot. Kamahalan din yun eh. Ganun talaga ang buhay. Yung sana oil, hanggang dun lang yun. Sana. So, eto ang Honda nagbibigay ng minimi version ng motor nilang X ADV 750. Makatarungan nga ba ang Honda ADV 150 at 149,000? Ang individual lang ang makakasagot niyan. Kung afford mo at di magugutom at makokompromiso ang pamilya mo, go na agad. Okay tong scoot na ito. Kung medyo challenge tayo sa budget at datong, well, ika nga ni Donya Delilah kay Johnny, magsumikap ka. Kung gusto mo talaga, gagawa ka ng paraan. Okay ang ADV 150. At eto na naman si Honda. New bike, new year. Another show of innovation and design that resonates why Honda is number one overall in motor sales around the world. This is Zach from Makina Moto Features na nagsasabing, laging tandaan, lahat tayo'y mamamatay din. Ciao! Kahit na ang bahaghari Sikretong babahagi Mga ulap ihahawi Nais ko rin mawari Sa puso mo mamalagi Makita ka palagi Lungkot ko ay napapawi Matamis na iyan labi Sa isip ko sumasagi Hiraya manawari Sana ay ganto palagi Tila yata ay nayari Sa swerte ako'y palubi Di na nga magpapalugi Pwede ba kitang maari na
kita talunin Sapat ng pahiwatig, wala na ang iyong galit Gabi-gabi na lang ikaw ang aking panaginip Hindi hanggang gilagit, sa'yo ay naaakit Sabay halik sa hangin, malakas na pagkaihip Mga tanong na bakit, ako ay nilalait Maramdaman mo sana at sumagi sa iyong isip Gusto ko mong lumapit, maraming nakasingit Gusto mo'y nasilip, nabigong paulit-ulit Bilog ang mundo, huwag mo sanang iikot sa atin Malay ba natin kung para ba talaga sa atin? Ikaw ay alanganin, hinga ka lang malalim Palasyo na mahangin, partita pikit ka lang at Ultimalo Kahit gaano kataas ay tatalunin Ultimalo